Throughout this series, I've come to appreciate that WA is truly the road trip state. Here in the wheat belt where I am today, there are eight different signposted road trips. And there's quirky towns with quirky names like Muck and Budin or Mucka to her friends. And the other thing I've noticed is there's lots and lots of rocks. And my good friends at the Mucka Shire have pointed me to five of the best. It's time to rock on. The landscape out here is dotted with dozens of granite outcrops. 40 k's out of town, the bitumen disappears and it's onwards to our first monadnik. That's the nerdy term for these rocky formations jutting from the surrounding earth. Make sure you read your map. Hate to get lost out here. And there she is, our first rock, Durrani, where the littler rocks are doing their best balancing act. And then there's the view. So many of these rocks are smack in the middle of farmland. Spectacular. And it makes for great driving. Next, Bering Booting Rock has been an important spot for the traditional custodians of this land for thousands of years. Plenty of bush tucker around here, and even in times of low rainfall, plenty of water. Do you know what I love about this spot? Is you can see how two cultures have harvested water to survive in this landscape. The Nama Hole, used by Indigenous people for thousands of years, and the water tank. Farmers tapped into the water in 1937, building the largest rock water catchment in Australia, 9.1 million litres. It took 100 workers two years to construct by hand and is still used to feed stock today. Our next stop is the Elvis of the Wheat Belt Way rock hop. Elec budding means thing that stands tall. They nailed that. There's a 6K walking track around the base that reveals a number of highlights. Bring a torch and explore Monty's Pass. The kids will love it. And this, Echo Cave, feels like a bit of a rock stage. Warm up your vocal cords. To the traditional owners, Elec Butting is an important meeting place because it's at the junction of several walking trails. There's also a birthing cave on site and that's a very, very special place. But it's not for me to share that experience with you. Hopefully when you come through the region, you'll be able to meet with a Naji Naji elder and they can share that with you. I set out for five rocks. I only got to three because they are so damn interesting. And when the sun sets and the campfire is blazing, it's just as good. It pays to put in the time. Uh, it's probably quite easy to discount this whole area. They're just a mob of heap of rocks. But, well, it's a destination. When you get there, there's such beauty. There's so much to see and do. If we're going somewhere, we'd stay at least three or four days. We see people that should be appreciating it and, and are actually making the effort, but they don't see what's there to offer. Well said, fair enough. 